The Lighthouse episode, Ellis for Love, had a big ending that a lot of people were really surprised by. If you aren't aware of what happened in this episode, basically, we find out that Luna has a crush on a girl named Sam, and then Sam smiled at this love letter, and that's all we got for the episode. Now after this aired, a lot of people were wondering, is Sam and Luna gonna be a thing from now on? Like, are they gonna be seen together? Are there gonna be any stories involving them? Here's an interview where the Lighthouse creator Chris Savino answers that question. The comments that we got off of that episode were amazing. Like, so much of, like, thank you. Which, it, to me, uh, it's, that's not my world, so I don't understand how kids feel so underrepresented in that particular area. So it was so great to see that they were feeling like, finally, someone on, the, on, a, on a cartoon or something that I love is represented representative of me and my situation. So, um, yeah, Sam shows up in another episode. To me, you know, if, if we're kind of picking what, who gets a relationship in the, in the, in the show, it was really just Bobby and Lori. That's, that's, the, that's the couple that we deal with with relationships, but Sam will certainly be around. Um, we didn't realize that it would be such a, a big deal. So yeah, it does look like due to fan demand, we are going to be seeing Luna and Sam in the future. Now I think this is a good idea, but as I said in a previous video, I hope they don't go over the top with it. Like yeah, it's a nice relationship on the show, it'll be cool to see, but hopefully they don't just randomly have five episodes all about it. This is the sort of relationship that will probably appear in the background of episodes. If they keep bringing up this relationship and making it like a huge deal, then people are going to start looking at the Loud House and claiming that it's a show always trying to break barriers and it's not a show made for entertainment purposes, which it is. So this sort of stuff is definitely good, but it shouldn't be excessive. You are going to see Luna and Sam together, but the way Chris was talking, we probably aren't going to get a full-length story involving them. It's still possible it happens in the far future, but right now, I would guess that we're not going to get that. Also, on Chris Savino's Instagram page, he posted this picture of Luna and Sam playing guitar together. He said it was from a future episode, so it's not like fan art or anything. So if you do want to see more of these two, then you're is granted because we will be seeing that in the future. Uh, it takes about 10 months to make one, so hopefully patience will pay off and people will see Sam hanging out with Luna again sometime soon. I'm sure some people are mad that they're constantly bringing back Luna and Sam in the future episodes, but keep in mind this probably won't be treated like a big deal. This relationship will work the best if it's just treated like every other relationship in the show, because it's just a normal thing now and they shouldn't make it bigger than it really is. I feel like if you're one of the types of people that are going to stop watching The Loud House because of Luna and Sam, then you should just watch it for the entertainment value, because at the end of the day, The Loud House is a cartoon and you're supposed to just watch it, relax, and have a good time. The fact that two girls are together doesn't really affect the story at all, it's just a normal relationship on the show. Also, if you're one of the people that will start watching The Loud House because of this, I also don't suggest that either, because again, you should watch it for the story and not just because it tries to break barriers. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.